Hello everyone, I want to talk today about handwriting analysis, uh, more specifically about the concept of the three zones. My name is Marcel Elfers, Master Profiler through Written Communication. I use handwriting analysis, statement analysis, and behavioral trend analysis. Please like my channel above all, share and subscribe. And if you like a video, add it to your playlist. I address handwriting analysis briefly uh, in two chapters, actually, in my book, We Are the Same, it's the details that differ. If there's something I like you to understand and live by is that handwriting is a behavior. We move from left to right while going up and down. It also reveals emotional sensitivities. The words reflect in our perspective as does sentence construction and can imply and show deception. This writing is rather fast and we can see that in several issues. We see that the personal pronoun I is connected to the LL in the I'll will. We also see that the end of the Y moves towards the right, the hand moves immediately towards the right instead of going left and make a loop. We see the TH combination, the H disappears, the T and the H seem to have the same stem and we see letter structures disappearing. Of course, without amplitude in a letter, it writes much faster. And that, of course, suggests, together with the forward slant, which means reactivity, that this individual is impatient. The wider spacing between the words imply poor bonding, and the overly connected writing suggests compulsive tendencies. The three zones, or the, or the zonal principles, uh, show uh, here, this is the mid zone, letters like A, C, M, N, O, Q, etc. are in the mid zone, are located in the mid zone. Now, anything above the mid zone is called the upper zone. Of course, the body of the B is still in the mid zone. Anything below the mid zone is called the lower zone. Now, the significance of it lies in the symbolism of it. In the upper zone, that is where our imagination thought processes reside. And of course, imagination thought means also uh, addressing our personal value system or our moral principles. The lower zone is where our physical imperatives reside. So our needs, our physical needs, sexual needs, material needs, these type of things. And we can see that as a desire. The reality zone is the mid zone. That's the here and now, where we are right now. And the mid zone mediates between the upper and the lower zone. It is fairly easy to remember this because if you look at a, a human body, we think in the uh, we think with our head, which is the upper zone, the social zone or the mid zone is where our heart is, how we feel about others, and the lower zone is where our legs are, which means we walk and move forward action. In principle, we can say that the upper zone is our morality principle or the superego, Freud's superego. The reality principle is the mid zone or Freud's ego. And the pleasure principle or our wants and desires are the id area. Now, when we look at this handwriting sample again, we see that the mid zone is rather small as it relates to the upper and the lower zone. Now remember, the mid zone mediates between the upper and lower zone, it mediates between our thought processes and our wants and needs. And therefore, with a small mid zone like this, 
especially since this is a reactive, compulsive individual. The mediation zone, the mid zone, reality zone, has a limited ability to inhibit a thought from its needs. And that should just that such an individual has poor impulse control. Of course, it's not just the smaller mid zone, it is the compulsion, the reactivity, the speed, plus the smaller mid zone as a combination. People like this tend to be reactive and come into action immediately and therefore they don't see limitations and are opportunistic. Downstrokes show the degree of our decisiveness and this is a very decisive individual. Strong pressure in the downstrokes show that is confident uh, in his decision-making processes. Extreme decisiveness may be at hand here. The length of the downstroke is the degree of our perseverance. We know, we don't know when to stop uh, with this long downstroke. This is an individual that may not see limitations. These long downstrokes <clears throat> and uh, heavy downstrokes are called an invasive lower zone. But what we see is a very long downstroke that goes through the next line, and that's called invasive lower zone. This implies subjective thinking, a glutton, somebody that overdoes things, they spread themselves thin with uh, too many tasks and never finishing one because they jump from one to the next and scattered thinking. We see that in several areas here. The handwriting is, the handwriting sample is the writing of Richard Ramirez, better known as the Night Stalker. Uh, Ramirez's crime spree was, of course, opportunistic. He moved from place to place. There was no rhyme or reason to his uh, actions. Uh, he often used different uh, methods, but there was always breaking and entering, sexual assault and murder were part of it. Now, he was not alone in that characteristic Ted Bundy, also had an invasive lower zone. And although the handwriting looks significantly different, we do see significant similarities in handwriting characteristics, like, for instance, the invasive lower zone. Ted Bundy was also highly opportunistic. And having said that, I leave it at that. And please remember, Handwriting is a behavior and therefore look at it like a behavior.